Hi guys, this is Nikki with Diamond Tumblers. Today I'm going to do a quick video on how to do a glitter flow tumbler. So let's get started. Okay, some supplies we're going to need today are nitro gloves, mixing cups, stir sticks, glitter, a heat gun or torch, and epoxy. It is suggested when using epoxy to use a respirator with organic filters and to be used in a well ventilated area. The epoxy I'm using today is by Artworks. Let's see if you can see that. Artworks Epoxy. Artworks Epoxy gives such a beautiful glassy finish that I just can't get enough of it. So let's get started. Okay, so I've poured part A and part B, about 20 ml of each. And I'm going to mix them together slowly so that I don't get a lot of bubbles. So I'll be right back after I mix this. Okay, I'm back and I have mixed my epoxy for about three minutes. Now I'm just going to apply the entire cup and make sure that the whole cup gets covered. Now I mixed a little more than I normally would because you want a little more glitter so that the, the epoxy will flow and the glitter will flow. I just use a gloved hand and just rub it all on. And if I have any extra, you can use extra for molds when you're done. Put some on the bottom. So I do have a little bit extra, so you could just use that for a small keychain mold or a mermaid tail or something. So I'm going to leave that over here. And I'm just going to rub this around and make sure I've got the whole entire cup covered. I didn't miss any spots. It's one reason I like using gloves, because you can feel where you got and where you didn't. Okay. So I'm going to let that spin for just a minute, and I'm going to hit it with a little heat so that when you start applying your glitter, it will start to flow. And then you'll heat it again once your glitter is applied. And this also gets any bubbles out. I'm a little bit of a fast stirrer, so I tend to get bubbles. Okay, so I'm just going to let that spin for just a minute while I get my glitter ready. Okay, so for each color I do, I'm going to stick a piece of paper under here so that each color can fall on that piece of paper and then I can put it back and, and reuse the rest of the glitter so I don't waste it. So I'm going to start with the pink glitter here. I'm just going to let it fall where it may. I'll wait for it to come back around and then I'll use the white next to the pink. You can already see it starting to flow a little bit. Oh, 
I'll just wait for it to come back around and then I'll go with my next color. And you can go back and touch up places once you get all done applying your glitter. And of course I forgot to change out my paper, so all of this is going together. But I'm not really losing much glitter, so that's good. So then I'm going to go back around and I'm going to start over with my pink after the blue. I'm going to go back in with my white and I'm just going to continue to repeat the colors all the way around until it's fully covered. And then one more time with the white. And then for the bottom, I just kind of sprinkle a little bit with my fingers of each color. Okay, now we'll go to the white. So now I'm going to use my heat gun and we're going to try and get it to flow just a little bit more. I think I'll do it on low. We don't want to heat it up too much or it will cure too fast. And then I'll go back in after it starts flowing and I'll touch up a few places. I 
And I'm going to turn it the other way to make it start flowing on the other side. some pink in a couple of areas that look a little light. Okay, well I'm going to let this spin and we'll come back in a little while and see how it goes. Hey there, I'm back and it's been spinning for about 10-15 minutes. Um, the, I've heated it up a little bit so the glitter's still flowing a little bit. Um, didn't turn out exactly how I planned, but I think it's going to work for what I'm doing. Um, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments and if you enjoyed this video, please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Um, the link for Artworks Epoxy is also in the comments. And again, this is, this is what it looks like. Let's see if I can, there we go. Okay, so thank you all, and I'll see you next time.